Hi and welcome in this new video. We're still talking about Nexo POS and I'm Blair from the Tendo, Tendo CMS dev team and also Nexo POS creator. I'm going to show you right now the change from this new release 2.5.6 and the release of Nexo Premium here. Uh, we are using, we switch it to the 2.0. Also, uh, Tendo CMS, Nexo POS is already using code interface RESTful service and we made a little change on grocery trips. So what has changed to what has, what has changed on Nexo POS 2.5.6? We have here the Nexo setting page which has been split in several parts. You have the general general section here where you can add shop detail, enable sound, uh, enable um, tracking user activity. We have checkout setting where you can enable field here, enable VAT, set a VAT rate, uh, select the order type for the three different order types supported by Nexo POS. We have also here the currency field, the currency position. We have the receipt theme. We have the enable automatic printing for receipt. We have also here uh, enable adding product in a cut order because by default this option is it's not it's not allowed to add product to the to a code order when it's done. We have also here code order aspiration by default is uh, by default is disabled, but you can set a you can set a uh, aspiration date for code order. So after that after that day, this order will be deleted. We have here is uh, default specific uh, default payment method here. All right. Um, then the next menu is item. Item here where you can select a uh, barcode. Barcode. You can you can also edit barcode uh, layout such as age and the width. But don't we? This field will be hidden because it's very very sensitive. We have here the number of barcode. We have here um, the resampling resampling barcode button. We also have here. Uh, item 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 label team all right uh the next next menu is customers this is the place where you can enable automatic discount you can set a percentage discount here or a fixed amount flat, flat discount so we have here how many is this place this automatic registration is where you can you can set how many orders after how many orders uh, a customers will benefit of a discount, automatic discount. So you can set here percentage of and a fixed amount. So here's the place where you set, you set a working customer. So it's also the default customer. This one, these customers that, uh, can benefit from a automatic discount. So the next menu is reset. We have here uh, this very straightforward. Just select the option here and you can reset the shop. But did use this option very wisely. So now we're going to take a little look at the uh, checkout, checkout screen, the new order. Uh, nothing has really changed from that place. We have added the VAT, VAT field here and also here, explaining tax VAT, VAT and while you're displaying the item list here, you can see uh, you can see this has changed. We have here a uh, very very expanded expanded trade. That's that's all. That's that's it. So uh, when I, I told you that we were using uh, coding interface for servers, this is because this model and uh, make next to work very quickly, especially when we are adding product from the checkout checkout screen here. So when I'm adding a product here, you can see this, this is going very, very, very quickly. It's taking the, uh, it's counting the, the, the quantity from the, from the, the database. I can remove, I can add very, very quickly. So we added also, we changed also the, the confirm box. We added this information here. So you can, before confirming your order, you can see exactly what the customer should pay here. This is a tax included and what remain what the pay saving sum also all right so um what has changed from the report set, uh, report report part yeah we can quit 
as you can see here we have the best the best which is the best the best of what best of item best of categories here best of deliveries here also this all those reports work uh, the same way I have to select uh, a, a time range a that range so i'm going to select the uh, first man uh, first uh, may and 10 all right so i will you can i will display the result here so we have a have a chart with uh, various various information and here i can filter by quantity or by turnover so we have a turnover here at equal three so we also have a daily report this is a very very old report but it's still used it's still working as a good good report here because you have a, a very detailed calendar here you can also select the time range from that place and you can enter for to see more specific uh, report here we have here uh, a document type uh, cash control advanced order code order and we have here the cash balance here we have income total income here and the spending so when it's when it seems that uh, everything is not working well you can empty the cash here you empty the cash and everything is deleted from the cash so here what we get we get all right code order but the code as you can see here there's a code order one quantity uh 205 the code order is not counted on income or spending because uh it's not really uh, a valid valid order it's uh it's just like a uh, a draft draft order and because the item still on the shop so the code order is not counted so uh, we also have uh, as a report as report we also have a cash flow yeah, this is very straightforward. You can see uh, your income during a, a specific here. We have here for each month, you can see your income here. You can see the, your spending and the final balance. All right. Also, we also have uh, annual sales. This is uh, a little, a little different from the, the old, old, the old report. Because here we have a latest category. Here we have men, women, children, gift, and we all we have the income from all those categories for each month in the year. Cashier performance is a place where you can you can check the performance of each of each cashier. But yeah, I don't I didn't have it created the new cashier. I was show this uh, report after. So we are going to move to the customer statistic. So here, there's the same same report and the cashier performance. You can see that here, a customer, and see uh, how many how many purchases he, he, he performed on the on the month. So you can also select range, but we will select uh, with the the report will start on February and will end will end at June. All right, I'll display results. You can see here. Uh, uh, the client account one has performed uh, has processed 1,484 and we can also select uh, another another customer from that list from that drop down I will select uh, Jundu Gavier uh, Boshes from Jundu yeah Display. All right, we have here Jundu and uh, we have a plan account. You can also select another one and also, yeah, it's the same. The same is very, very screenful. The last report is inventory tracking sheet. This is a place where you see exactly what are you, you put and you see the entries and the outings. So, I will select from the, this collection, this deliveries is named collection one. We have year main, we have uh, entries, initial stock, nothing, zero. We have entries for five, 5,400, outing 10,000, 10, and final stock is, uh, is what left. All right, this, uh, this is the same, the same process in for each, for each categories, so we have here six thousand and six thousand 
entries and seven outing and this is the rest all right so i will also show you a very very important important new feature this is a maintenance history maintenance and history here you can enable uh, when uh, user activity is enabled so you can see here everything which has been performed by your application especially but this this report doesn't doesn't track any action is it track only uh, checkout action so when somebody is deleting or creating a new order as you can see here creating a new order user bear 2014 created a new order with the following code perform it on this date you can if you have pagination here you can see everything everything but this option we is very very heavy for the database because anything will be saved on the database and maybe your uh, maybe next will be getting getting down getting down sometime but we still fixing that also i will want to show i wanted i want to show you a new a new option the backup backup feature so this is a very very straightforward option when you want to, to back up your database and everything you've done just enter there you get to the get to add backup just you can enter a specific specific title here and click on save and go back to the list yes the is the backup your backup here and you can download the backup using this button when you click on it you can download your, your database all right, it's done. And also, if you want to restore a database, you just get to the same place. But now you you are clicking on restoring, restoring menu. All right. So now I will upload my database here and click on restore. The restore is proceeding. We we'll wait a little while. All right. This option was very difficult to. To add to Nexo POS, but we did it and we are very proud of it because it's working, working very, very well. All right, then. Good. The rest restoration was successful. All right, guys, this is the, this, this is almost everything that you know that about, uh, about Nexo POS and we see, uh, much to your later. Thanks.